Hi guys, uh, Bobby Gass here. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up a Christmas present that was sent to me early, right here. Terry Peacock, an old buddy of mine. You guys that know my channel, you know, heard some of the stories I've told about him, right? And uh, anyhow, he sent me a, a box here, and and I I've had my knife cutting all the tape and shit like that on it, right? And let's get into it. He mentioned that the that that the, there's a card under underneath the label, eh? And let's get in here. Oh, there it is. Let me get my knife and open it up. What's it say on it? It just says to Bob Gas. Where's my knife? There it is. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to open them early, but you know. Ha ha ha. All right. Close up the knife. Let's see here. It's a Christmas card, of course, eh? Anything else in there? No. <laughs> oh, it's got all kinds of this writing on the back here. Oh, Christ. Okay, let's go here. Let me put my glasses on, Terry. Let's read this. I better light up a smoke, too. My mom, she used to, you know, all the Christmas presents and stuff like that. Christmas Eve when us kids would be sleeping, my mom would open up all the packages, steam all her packages to know what she got. And, and then she'd act really surprised. Oh, wonderful. Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> she used to steam open my love letters for my girlfriends, too. Dear Bob, it is always a pleasure to listen to your channel. Thank you for all the words you put in for everyone, or all the work you put in for everyone. You're not a very good writer, Terry. Uh, me neither, either, right? I felt great joy seeing you get and put, your, uh, put together your new scooter. Yeah, Terry's the guy who coughed up, uh, you know, closed it up, right? There was $2,200 in the fund in I don't know how many hours, and then Terry seen it, and then he dumped the 1800 for the four grand in it right away, topped it right off, right? You know, the, the fund was done in, you know, 24 hours, right? Uh, put together for the new scooter. Uh, how wonderful to watch uh, so many people rally around you with support and continuing support with uh, uh, staff to par uh, stall to park in. It, yeah, I got underground parking now. In times of, uh, in, a little, uh, in after of your scooter, I don't know what to say, of your scooter. Okay. I do not believe that the Dominion Davies of seal test property of looks good on your on your bike. Oh, she's ta he's talking about the uh, the milk crate I put on the back of it. Hey, eh? like I uh, the milk crate I put on it was the red well, red one that I had for records, right? You can't get them them old what thirteen and a half inch uh, uh, milk crates anymore. You know, well yeah, you buy them I guess second hand in some place, right? All the new ones I've seen are or 12 inches, records won't fit in them, and neither will, you know, some of the groceries I get. The, the, fourth, the, the big ones, the red one, anyhow, Terry, I, I, I bought a can of spray paint on Amazon. God, spray, it's so damn expensive. Some of them things, a can was like $40, $50, but I bought one that cost me like, I, I think it was $15, $18 to get it here, right? And I spray painted it black. <laughs> <coughs> So uh, it ain't looking bad. You're right, though. It was looking bad, the red on, uh, you know, on a black bike. So 
I got the spray paint. And <coughs> I want the scooter to look cool. The other milk crate I had on it, it was a big one, you know, the for records. And uh, it, it was black and, uh, you know, it got stolen with the scooter, right? Okay, uh, you deserve better. I know you bleed blue. Okay, looks good on your bike. It, oh, no, it doesn't look good on your bike. You deserve better. I know. Well, I, I straighten that problem out, Terry. And I would like to add this to your ride. I have included a few flags which you can attach with plastic ties, if you wish, during certain seasons. I have included some new license plate bolts <laughs> as well as some 45s. Oh, yeah, 45s, all right, that have interesting labels. Well, I like labels. I'm a label guy. They, uh, they, something like they are playable. They seem like, yeah, they seem like they are playable. Merry Christmas. Well, Terry, P.S. There is a plastic bag inside which has a gift I would like you to give Ted. Well, okay, beautiful. Yeah, I already told Teddy about, uh, I was talking to him, uh, I don't know, Yesterday, he invited me over for the family Christmas, uh, you know, uh, Christmas Eve thing he does every year. So I'll be going there. I'll give him, I'll give him his, uh, his present then, Terry. Okay, let's get into the, to the goodies. I already pulled all the tape as much as I could, right? Ready, Terry. Boy, oh boy, that's a, a lot of boxing. Man. <laughs> oh, I got it sideways. Oops. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything else in there? No. Look at this. <laughs> so that's what he was talking about. The box. He got a new box for the scooter. Wonder what size it is. Where's my tape measure? Let me get my tape measure. Well, it looks more like one of the small ones. Yeah. It's only 11 inches, 11 and a quarter inches on the inside. Oh, I can still use it. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Oh, good luck fishing. Go loose, go. Good luck fishing. Go loose, go. Oh, and my name, Bobby. <laughs> oh, Terry's always thinking. Here's the plastic bag, I guess, with Teddy's gift in it. Oh. There's nothing in it, it's just plastic. Flags. Canadian flags, guys. I got one up over there, over my balcony. Yeah, look at that. Let me unravel this. Canadian flags gotta fly. I don't know, there's other sticks with it, too. Oh, there we go. Two little dowels. I wonder what I'm going to do with them.
Canada Day. I'll be flying this on my scooter on Canada Day. I'll be able to use them. What for, though? Anyhow, where am I going to put all of this stuff? Right here for the time being. Cardboard. Oh, more flags. Hey, <laughs> go Leafs, go. <laughs> I got maple leaf stuff all over her. I'm a, I, I bleed blue, just like he says, right? So does my kid brother, Ted. I mean, I've been around for six or seven Maple Leaf uh, Stanley Cups. I only remember four or five of them, though. More stuff. Oh, more flags. Another Maple Leaf flag. If we get a goalie, God damn it! If we get a goalie, I just watched the game here the Leafs tonight. That Samsonov guy they got in there, he let in five goals right off the bat. Then the you know the, the Leafers come back and they score five and uh, tie the game, and it goes into overtime. And you know Samsonov, he can't keep nothing out. He's on his knees all the time. He ain't even Catholic for Christ's sakes. You can see I'm not happy with the man. Boy, you put a lot of stuff in here so it didn't rattle around. That's good. Oh, there's Teddy's plastic bag. I won't even open it. I'll just give it to him the way the, way the plastic bag is, Terry. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Ties to put these those little flags on my scooter or whatever, right? I've got all kinds of them, long ones. I don't have any this small. I got some that twice this size, but none this small. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There's more long ones. Ties, the handy little things, right? That and duct tape can fix anything. Ties and duct tape. Uh, here's the 45s. I'll be able to, let's have a, well, there's something else in here too. Uh, I'll save the 45s till last. Looks like a jewelry box or something. My damn watch stop, my Bulova. I just paid $140 last year to have it. It wasn't working. And uh, it stopped. I ain't got the money to fix it. I gotta have a watch, eh? I'm gonna save the bolt. Saving the ball. I know where it's going, right up here. All right, now the 40. Oh, I gotta open the box up. I found my knife too. I dropped my knife. Uh, you know, I got nothing else better to do, so <laughs> I'm opening up presents. And here we got a. I like boxes. Something in the paper here.
rat fink. Terry had, I don't know, he had given me before a pair of, uh, you know, the little rat finky thingies. <laughs> Cute. All right, let's open up the 45s. Contribute to the 4,000 I already have. Yeah, I got 4,045s. Nice bolt. I'm saving the bolt. And so long as they're old, Terry, they're playable. Even though they look terrible. One thing about the old 45s over the old albums is that uh, they made them with better quality vinyl and better pressings, deeper or something. I don't know, but they, they sound great, right? They might look shitty, but once you clean them up, you know, <laughs> most of them sound fantastic. Oh, Billy J. Billy J. Kramer... Don't you do it no more. It's got to last forever. Billy J. Kramer. On the Capital Orange Swirl. Put that in there. Next up here is uh, Greg Kroll. One of these days. I don't know Greg Cole. Here comes Joni, Greg Kroll. Hmm. And it's his own type like label, eh? See, he's got his name at the top of the, the label, eh? That's new. It's got the barcode on the side. That's not an old record. I wonder, the box tops, Cry Like a Baby, The Door You Close to Me, yeah it is. The mallet, see that don't look too bad, but on closer inspection, you know, it's pretty dirty. But once I clean it up, this is going to sound fantastic, and it's twice as heavy as that that last uh, 45, you know, with the barcode on it. They just don't make them like they used to. Label to a nice little picture sleeve or whatever you call it. Here's a Buddha Records with a Buddha label with a Buddha sleeve. No help from me. Uh, I can't see that. Where's my goddamn glasses? Oh, the Lemon Pipers. No help for me. And Green Tambourine. Buddha Records label, or sleeve. That's the first Buddha Records sleeve I think I got. I don't remember any other orange ones I got like that. Neat. I love sleeves. Next up here is uh, Can You Dance the Deal on Square Label. Can You Dance the Delil? Shoot, shoot Tim up movies. Shoot him up movies. I never heard of these guys. The deal. I never heard of them. Well, we'll check it out. Next up here is uh, the new beats. Pink Daily Rue and everything's all right. The new beats. They did a, a tune, uh, Bread and Butter, I think it was called. It was a pretty big hit, eh? On a hickory, the new beats. 
Uh, next up here, the Fifth Estate, the Rub-A-Dub, and Ding Dong, the Witch is Dead. Ding Dong, the Witch is Dead. Yeah, I got that one. Is it by the Fifth Estate? I think so. I forget. Ding Dong, the Witch is Dead. And last, but not least, the five-man electrical band, Friends and Family, and Juliana. On a Polydor label with a Polydor sleeve. Merry Christmas, Terry. Thanks a lot. Gold leaves gold. Damn it. We need a goalie, Terry. Anyhow, guys, Merry Christmas to one and all, all early. I mean, it ain't long to go. What's today's date? The 15th, 10 days. Nine days of shopping. I'm not buying presents this year. I, you know, I ain't got the money. First time ever in my life. Yeah, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys.